so today we are creating uh walls and windows and doors yeah so we want to create our walls and windows and doors for our ground floor so without wasting much time let's get into the video i don't want to waste time you don't want to waste time if you've not subscribed do that let's go so first of you we are going to open the ground floor editor so ground floor uh, here it is if you follow the tutorial i made a folder and i have um, ground floor slab and then stairs and ground floor itself so we are going to open the ground floor itself because that's where we are going to do um, the drawing for the ground floor you, you get the idea ground floor so <laughs> so let's wait for this to load up um, okay so we are done so i'm going to go to home <coughs> sorry so to continue <coughs> So to continue we are just going to um create our walls but before then we need our grid lines to be able to you know know where the walls are and where these are so let's go to our project navigator first and then we are going to go to um ground floor grid lines if you did it like we did you should have this so you right click on your ground floor grid lines and you see um xref overlay because you want it to you want to overlay it on our uh, ground floor editor so ground floor um, x-ray overlay and then we have this basically the scale has changed so you want to get the scale back to one and a quarter inch like so the bubbles are a bit small but don't worry you get the hang of it yeah so we want to you know start with our walls and to for the wall we are going to use um i already have it in my Pre, uh, my two palettes here but if you don't have it just right click here go to content browser you open it you go to content browser it's going to load up the content browser dialog box is going to load up you want to scroll down and look for design to catalog design to catalog imperial that depends on what you are using if you are using metric i think you're going to have to use design to catalog metric yes it's basically the same stuff that are going to be in it but you know for your, for the one you are using the metric being the the um, meters and millimeters but before you open the application make sure you are opening um either autocad architecture imperial or metric yeah so i'm using imperial so i open my imperial here which is designed to catalog imperial then i scroll down here for walls another thing you can do is you can search it here walls whatever you want it so i'm just going to <laughs> use what i have here so walls i click on it and then here there are basically um, some some stuff here we may not understand it yet but don't worry as time goes on you're going to you know check all of them out so you're going to have brick here it's basically walls made of bricks if you have interest in that for now it's basically walls made with bricks and if you are using any of these i will recommend you use brick x or anything with x that way you are going to you know set in your width and height but some have their um uh, so let's say four four inch brick and four inch brick wall with 1.5 rigid they are basically going to have some fixed values either in the width or in the height or some somewhere there so i recommend you use um brick x or let's say we have brick x firing i've not really used any of these but you can you know come in here open stuff up and then just look at them see what you have here is a start so if you're using something of that idea of that that nature start you see start x at 12 inch so 12 inch high you know means the length is going to be 12 inches yeah i think so the length is 12 inch so if you don't want that i think walls you're going to have to use somewhere um 10 inches um 10 feet sorry so you want to you know look through them and you know search for somewhere like x where 
you're going to have to you know input your own variable so you search through there we have start x like so so something like this you are going to you know input most of the d the data but you know after that you continue you have concrete here. if i use if you are doing anything with concrete in it you can open this concrete it does not mean the wall it is this concrete walls per se here is a um, 10 inch concrete wall but that's we have other type of concrete materials here we have concrete strips and then concrete with 14 mm, so it depends on what you want to do yeah so i'm not going to use any of these i'm going to use cmu walls cmu they have um, a full meaning i just don't have it in my head as of yet so you're going to go to um number five straight up because i have the i have the idea of where it, what i'm looking for it's either in five or four i would have a fair idea here so cmux like i said cmux you want to hover over the, the thumbnail here you want to hover over the thumbnail and then see add to two palettes if you are going to use it if you are going to be using it in other projects but if you want it to if you want to use it for just that particular drawing you are making or that particular project you are making specifically you just insert into drawing you set your properties and then draw but i recommend you use add two palettes because it's going to be in your two palettes whenever you mess up you go there and then you continue i already have it there so i'm not going to add it so i'm going to you know minimize this for now and then go to my two palettes if you added it you just come to two palettes and scroll down it should be somewhere down here so cmu x i want to click on this um it's not this activated yes so my wall is activated i go to properties here the width you want if you want your width to be eight inches yeah i think normally walls are eight inches because you have um six inch for the brick and then the um the plastering and everything is going to be like two 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 to somewhere eight or ten it depends but i choose to use only the the width of the blocks and not the whole thing so i'm just using the blocks to six inches and then i want my base height to be 10 feet the height of the room if you want it 11 feet just type it in 12 feet you're good to go however you want it just type it in and then you can come to justify i normally set my justify to center so that whatever i draw is going to be centered on my reference which is which in this case is my grid lines so i center them and then just draw them i aside that um, i don't do anything else here offset i don't set my roof or anything there so continue and with this if you open anything or if you have any command active let's say stairs or roof or anything you can just come down here there's a, a diagram giving you the perfect illustration of what any of these letters are meant for so a being the width is going to tell you what where it is and then the e being the um, what e is the roof the roof line so the line from the yeah you get the idea the roof line of the wall yeah so that's how the whole thing works. so you can just check them out b is going to be the, the base height of the building excluding the the roof if i add in the roof here my wall is going to change from 10 feet to somewhere like 10 feet 11 or 12 it depends on the the the, the roof line yeah the roof line that i'm going to add but i'm not going to do that because i'm going to do that in my spaces video so if you've not subscribed do subscribe so that you understand how the spacing work the spaces in the buildings the rooms and everything so let's go into the drawing let's get into the drawing part of the video so i want to draw my exterior walls before i in, i get into the interior so i have this turned on if you don't have it turned on you can turn it on it gives is that thing that gives you the box and everything and the green stuff which helps in making perfect lines and everything you can just turn some of these on depends on what you need so i click on the drop down here and then we have these so 
however you want to use them the nearest somewhere in the video we are going to use all of this i know we are going to use all of this so so you can just you know toggle the ones i have on which is the endpoint center um, intersection extension i think that's all i'm using for now but i'm going to have to add in my geometric center my nearest and then apparent intersect i'm going to use some of them so i'm not going to turn them on as of yet so i'm going to zoom to where i want to start which is a good practice you want to zoom into where you want to start so that you don't click somewhere here or somewhere down there so you want to zoom in make the correct put it at the correct place click once zoom out so what i'm, I'm just using my mouse to zoom in and out my my mouse cooler to zoom in and out so just like that you want to zoom in click zoom out just zoom out you can move it to this side to zoom out for a better view of this portion so if i zoom out here i'm going to see there if i zoom in here i'm going to see there zoom out depends however you want to use it so i think you have to use them and then get yourself acquainted with it yep so to continue i just screw down to the part where i want and then continue so let's draw right. so i have a room here i think i have to make a 10 here. no yeah click come in here click and i'm not zooming in entirely because i have the x in green meaning even if i am at this part wherever i click it's going to you know set at where the x is ah it's a quirk it should have worked because i use it most often i just turn them on most often so i don't know but if it's if you do anything on the stand this is to you know to change the location you can also use it to drag it in and, in and out just like that i don't want to do any of that so skip and maybe you have you have drawn something and you want to use the properties of that particular thing in another instance let's see i have not finished drawing my wall but the wall command is off as you can see from the command tab uh, the command line the wall command is off but i want to use the same properties as the other ones i've drawn a simple thing to do is to select one and then see add selected so the moment i click add selected the command becomes active and it has the same properties as the ones i have drawn already I just thought you, you you should know that <laughs> i thought i should you know tell you guys that because it helped it has helped me knowing these kind of stuff it has helped me so as you can see it is centered with 10 feet and everything so straight up i continue then place it up here. And then press enter you can press escape this is not the 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 the, the slab it's a wall so you can either press escape or enter however you want to use it i want to press enter and then to continue i want to draw my internal walls but i'm going to use the same properties as the one i have, i did earlier so i say i selected guessed it so we come in here continue i have a room here so i want to do that one first click say escape so the one that is selected i want to use it so i selected and then i have a room um the washroom here i want to click drag this out i know this is let's see six feet uh six feet yeah six feet i press enter then it is set to six feet exactly then i drag it out click and i'm done so i skip i zoom out I have the powder room around here so I see add selected zoom in click here once drag it out just like that simple that's why it is an a card application this, this is the main essence of a card application to help you do your work faster computer aided designs so the computer is aiding you in bringing your ideas on board so you are not worrying you are not stressing too much you just click 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 and then build the whole house give it to your client they like it everybody gets their money and everybody is happy <laughs> so i think this is the first part the 
the wall part is done oh yeah i think so so this is basically the idea here there is going to be a car park so i'm not going to do anything but in the size plan i'm going to you know put some um, i'm going to put some concrete stuff here or some pavement stuff here to indicate the car can park here yeah so let's go to the 3d view to go to the 3d view you just click here you can click any part here anywhere here on the corners to view where you want to use it so the north is going to be somewhere like the back the west as you know east and the south so the corners are going to you know show you the sides however you want to use it you can either use this or come in here click here and see um, SWI isometric when you have this I don't normally use this I want the short way so I don't do this I just click here and I've been using that for a very very long time I've been using that for a long time you make sure that the blue is indicated there then you click so you're in 3d mode this is 3d then normally you want to change your visual style to see exactly what you want you want to you know obviously click click all of these and know what the view of all of these are so that when you are making a project or anything you understand what you are doing I don't I don't know if you get what I mean. You want to open one and every one here so that you know the content in there. You just want to. It's fun. So you want to know them. Um normally I use con con what's the word? Conceptual. Normally I use conceptual so that I can see it in a block form. Let's say um to those who know um SketchUp, this is basically how SketchUp shows their stuff in conceptual mode. So I want to right click here, see 3D orbit so that I can do this. <laughs> so let's go to top view because I think this is done. So let's go back to top view. First, you want to change your visual style to 2D wireframe. Normally, when you are drawing in 2D form or in top view, you want to use 2D wireframe. If you use any other else, you're going to have some, some user experience stuff. So you want to turn it to 2D wireframe and then normally you can come here see top and then or you can just select top here and see, skip you have top here so you make sure that it's on top and then you click or you come here see top you are in top view simple so normally i use that i use this for 3d i use that for top view simple so this that's that's done for the first part of the video let's go into the scan part so welcome to the scan part of this video and today uh, i think i said that earlier so the scan part of this video we are making windows and doors simple windows and doors so let's go back to our content browser and then see what we can do from there if you have not subscribed do subscribe <laughs> so here is our content browser from the previous video you can see so you want to go back go back and then come back here or you can just click home it's going to take you back to home shortcut alt plus home if you're a shortcut um a shortcut person you can just use alt plus home um i just like to go back or click home that's all so when i when i am here I want to, you know, go in for what I want and then I want Windows and DOS. That's basically what this video is about. So Windows and DOS. Click. We do the Windows and DOS in addition to the um, to the ground floor because you can't make a specific um a spe you can't create a specific editor for Windows and DOS. It's going to make the whole thing crowded. Unless maybe the project is that big. Yeah, you're making let's say a huge project. Beach Khalifa, something like Beach Khalifa, big. So if it's the project is that huge, that big, then I recommend you make a separate editor for Windows and DOS so that you continue to build in them. You just do your ground floor there, um, extract the ground floor, make the windows, save it. Then as you do the top, you go back to that same Windows and DOS. Get an idea. So you want you know. Yeah, maybe we will do it later on in another video, in another project. I don't know, but for now, 
we are doing it in the ground floor simple and easy so we are going to go to doors and then here are the doors here are the doors you have and from page one to page five filled with doors so you want to be specific read everything here and then see what you want before you use it you don't want to just select anything and go your way these case openings are just frames it's more like frames here let's say you want a frame the frame of it, something and without the a, main, a door inside it you use the case openings and then when you read um something double something double something double something double the double means it's a two-sided something one side here one side here. so like your double gates your double doors that are mostly the main the main door normally they are double and then when you enter into the um, the, the living room or the, the when you're going to the powder room or the washroom or the rooms normally we use single doors that's how it has been that's what we are used to so for this particular project i think i use this i have it in my two palettes so i'm going to be using this particular one feel free to select any one you want yeah it's a project you do what you want you are the architect so you suit your preferences you do what you want how you want it the only thing is that the client has to approve of it but you do what you want you are the designer that's the idea and even the clients can tell you what you're the architect so you tell him what you want so here we go you want to add two palettes here's the double inch that's one i the one i used so i added it to the two palettes it's already there so i'm not going to do it right now and then for the single those that i'm going to use for the um, for the powder room and the, the, the rooms stuff i came in here still i'm on double still double you want to you know read them have a fair idea check the, the thumbnails and see how they look like how they are going to look like in your project when you implement them or when you apply them so i go to my third one i have my singles and then you can see here this hinged single act for light just like the one the double one i showed you earlier is the same thing but in this case it's single so it's a single door this one if we are to go to one let's go back to page one you can see that we have two it, it looks like two frames here you have one glass here another glass there hmm? so when you but when i go to three i have one glass making it single that's the idea so this single you can see from the thumbnail this single that one is double so i add this one to my two palettes that's that and then for my powder room or powder room washrooms and everything i i like to use um doors that do not have any form of vis visibility or transparency in them you can see here it's a bit it's a glass so you can see through but for the washrooms and the powder rooms i like to use doors that you don't see through them so i normally use my my these ones these type no see through or either i use that one or these ones just for the fun of it depends on what you want maybe you want any of these these are it depends on you so i'm going to add this i added it already it's already there to so add two palettes then let's go back then go to our windows this is the idea i like to come in here select all the doors and windows i want to use so that i have it in there i'm not coming to select one draw select one draw it's a waste of time so I come in here, select the doors and then windows I want for the project I'm doing. And then I continue from there. Sing, simple. I was about to say sing. So, simple. <laughs> so windows. Here are the windows. Just like that. As you can see. And then you want to read the names. The names kind of help you. Hmm? The names kind of help. This is a 2D metal frame plan. I've not used them actually, but I think they are to display in 3D. They are not going to display in 3D mode. So I don't recommend using any of these. But these ones. Hmm? Owning, owning act, owning double, 
running double act there's that these are normally doors um, they are going to show in 3d and they open as you can see here they open up and down something of the sort here to the same here i don't know maybe they open them they flip in and out that's how these are going to open normally um, i don't use any of these but i selected this for the for the washroom um the powder room sorry i selected this from the for the powder room so i added this to the two palettes it's already there and then i search for my old old glider so i don't i didn't select any of these but you can select them if you want it's your design normally i will entreat you just do something even if it's not a project for someone you're just doing it for doing sake do it so that you have an idea of how to draw or do these things but the generation we are in is not always go to school you can have the idea you can have the skill sell your skill and sell it online you can make a project and um, a project for someone companies that are into architecture make projects for them and then just email them that okay this is a prototype this is something i made and how would you or i would like to work with you something of the sort so i'm going to you know go into how to um market your skills later on i'm going to make a video on that how to market your skills if you are not actually an architecture student or something i'm going to you know make a video and showcase or tell you how i would um sell my skills out there to people who need them mm, let's continue so glider here we are our normal glider window them the sliding window as we we mostly call it the sliding window sliders mm? you want to select any of these and the doors also have them if you go through the pages you're going to see um the slider windows is going to also the slider doors is also going to be called glider double and single so i added this to my two palettes and then let's continue so i come to my two palettes down here as you can see i have them lined up double single single on and glider just like that so let's get into drawing the windows and doors hmm? if you are not seeing the, the the thumbnails well you can just right click somewhere out here and then go to view options you go to view options you can increase the image size and then it's going to show i like i want to leave it there so i'm not going to be you can do that i'm just for the video sake so i want to select this my double that's going to be my main door out here and then i want to go to properties like I said, anything you select, you want to go to properties and make sure the information here are like the information you want. No anything different. So coming in here, three feet, three feet is more like a single door. The single doors have three feet. So the double door should have something like five feet or six feet. Yeah. The, sing the double door should have that. I'm going to, you know, display my uh, my uh, my windows and door my window shadow and door shadow i did it earlier i'm going to display it on the screen for you guys to you know have an idea of what i'm doing for the various rooms and stuff i did it earlier so i have a shadow for it and we are going to learn how to make the schedule also but not in this video so let's continue <laughs> so i want to use um six feet um i can't see my screen yet so somewhere six uh, feet six feet okay okay so for my window and um, for the door i'm making it six feet so six feet just like that and then for the height, I'm going to leave it at seven feet. Because normally those are the height of seven feet. So you have extra four feet. 
and then measure to it is going to be where the six you know, the six feet is going to be measured either from the inside or from the outside just like that so i want to use it outside of frame inside the frame or outside the frame inside the frame is going to be six feet inside the frame and then the frame attached to it. so it's going to be six feet plus the frames but measure from the outside is going to be frames inclusive to the door is going to be six feet that's exactly what so outside frame and then swing angle 90 let's leave it because let's leave it at 90 we are going to open it later so from with that settings done i just come in here select the the wall the particular wall i want it on i want it here so i click here and then i want to you know leave it somewhere there and then you want to you know make sure that this uh, originally the green yeah you do, we want to make sure the greens are not set if the green is there whatever whenever wherever you click is going to be set to that particular that particular piece so though i left a space here see where the door is that's not what i want escape i want to turn this off temporarily if you want to click on it turn it off select your door come in here to the center one here click then drag it to wherever you want so this uh, this here is to move it's like move yeah and this here is to flip it up and down I click here flip it, flip it, flip it. And i think this is not going to actually do any anything specific on this particular one if when we draw the single you're going to see the essence of this but for now i don't think it's going to be any important but they are all of the same size it's going to be of no importance very important so you want to you know leave this here press escape to deselect it once it's deselected you want to go to the, i think this is going to be single here so you want to go to two palette select the, the single hinge here this is going to be for the room the room here so i want to come to two palette click on it um yeah it's active you want to go to properties you want to change this so if i didn't come here and i drew it it would, it would have been six feet whilst from the information you have there is three feet hmm? so you want to change this to three this can be seven feet. outside of me. good so come in here six three feet so press enter it's active you want to come in here and then this is going to be here for the main entering the main room so you want to select the wall here come in here somewhere there click and then i'm going to you know give you a touch bit of information about drawing doors as an architect a useful tip is that when you are drawing and um, when you are designing a room a room setting you always want your door to open to the inside of the room and not to the outside of the room why because when someone is you don't know when someone will be around this area or coming from this area whilst the door was closed so when the person is coming and then all of a sudden you open this to hit them on the face hmm? so you want it to you know swing to the inside so you want to click on this if you have this you want to click here and then normally opening this in here is going to be a waste of space it's going to be a waste of space because this particular option um, this particular part here you are not going to put anything there but instead you are covering the view of this particular side and then it's going to you know recommend that you leave, you leave a bit of space before you can put anything here so you flip it to open to a wall you want it to open to a wall and not to the inside of the room again you may open it you don't know when anyone will be here you may hit the person but you when you have it opening to a wall i don't think someone will come and stand here and someone will just come to stand there or try to move around it. so you want it to open to a wall and then you want it to open inside the room not outside the room so let's continue you want to go to two palettes again select this 
this is what I want to use for powder room and the other rooms. And then I want to go to properties again, make sure we have three feet, seven feet. I think it's okay. Three feet, seven feet. So I want to add one here. So coming in here, I want it to open to the inside like that. And then like so. Or oh. it's okay. So opening to the inside like that. I want to click and then set this here. It's good. And then I want to go to my the washroom in the room here. And then I want to set this in here. Hmm. So just like that. Click, press escape to deselect it. I want to click on this, and then flip it to open to the here to the wall. <laughs> Sorry, to open to the wall so that I can put something here. So I have automatically by putting it opening it to the wall i have a bit of space here where i can put something there, like the hand wash basin so then i can have you know you get the idea so let's continue i want to you know put a back door somewhere here opening to the side of the property like a back door hmm? so that one i'm going to use this particular door i want to use this and then put it there so that i have like basically um, two forms of door set in, in the board i don't want to combine so many door types so i want to add selected again it works in here too you want to add selected and i want it to open to the outside of the building i want to leave that there press escape select that um it's okay it's open in here you can leave it there but it depends on your plan if you want it to open here you can just flip them however you want to use them i don't think this is in the uh, the door shadow because i did not do it when i was working on it but mm, that's the idea i have it there i forgot so that's that's basically um, designing you forget to put some things in as the project goes on you know that okay i have to put this here and then you put it in and then you continue so to continue we are done with our doors let's continue to windows okay so i go to my two palettes select my glider window that's basically the, the one that's going to you know have more space here. so glider window i go to properties this is set to two feet and three feet i don't want that i want to change this to six feet and then i want to change the height to five feet so that is going to be it's going to look modern that's how modern windows normally ah so that's what i'm going to also use coming in here you want to you know make sure ventilation is working air is entering the room so you want more of the windows not all over the place but more of it so i want to put one here one in here i'm going to you know show you how to send it later if you want to send tight, I'm going to show you later. You can put one here if you want. If you are doing the project with me, you can put one here. Um, I have the idea of putting it there, but it's kind of not clicking because I have a car coming in here. I don't want someone to just... It's just somehow like a waste of property. A waste of um, door. And then I want to have one here because I'll put... Um, a table here for the person using this room to learn so it's okay if um, sunlight is passing through there and then i want to put one also here where his bed or her bed is going to be it's yeah it's, it's not too much it's okay for a room to have two windows one entry so the the entry of air is going to determine where air enters and where where air goes out so if air in that particular place goes from the east, it enters through here, goes out through the north. Hmm? So let's continue. So I want to put here, yeah, I'm not going to put any window there because I'm going to change the wall here to um um a curtain wall. Curtain wall is basically um a wall with glass or frames in it. That's the idea. I'm going to, you know. I'll do it later on so you're going to understand it. Don't worry. 
and then i'm going to put one here which is going to you know um show on my um, it's going to you know show lights or show the on my in my kitchen i'm going to have a kitchen here the kitchen is going to be basically at this side of the room uh, somewhere there moving somewhere up there we're going to have our um staircase going up there let's exit or escape i'm going to have a staircase up moving from here to the next level so let's continue so i have this here and then i have that there that there that there let's go to the um, the powder room basically some may call it the washroom i want to use this awning double click on it go to properties i want to change this to two feet and then i want to change this to three feet. press enter set then i come in here i want it to show at the back i don't want it to i don't want that um that window to show at the opening or the front of the building i want to show it to the side of the building so i want to click here I uh, am um, it's there but it's not showing as of yet i'm going to explain to you later give me a minute let me do what i'm doing here mm -hmm. so i want to put one also here back. Back, back, back. i don't know it's not giving okay let's put it there escape so the two doors that are showing there and um, they that are not um, you know you can't see them they are not visible but they are there they are there just not visible um, what I can do is come in here. You have global cut plane from down here. Look, look, my mouse is telling you it's down there. Global cut plane here is set to three feet six inches. Basically, cutting the building at three feet six inches. So, anything showing from three feet six inches down is what we see. But things that are showing up, we are not going to see it. If the that particular thing is not up to three feet six inches. We are not going to see it. Mm, you get the idea. So from the one that we placed here, if we if we have to you know show it again, let me select this on and double click go to properties. We have the base height to be three feet, not up to three feet six inches. So we are not going to see it on the um, the top part of it. It's going to be underneath it. You can see the head height here to be six feet. So we are not going to see it. What we are going to do is we are going to come to global cut plane, click, and then change the cut height from three feet six inches down to four feet. You change it to four feet, it may work, it may not work. So let's pray. Okay. There we have it. It's not showing. So four feet is going to show that part of the building nice and this one too is also showing cool let's go to um 3d view the video is getting longer i know i understand i'm not even coming to do the cutting but what can i do i have to you know create the content for you guys it's a bit long but what can i do sorry sorry let's go so let me change this to realistic so that we have another um, view of the building if i use conceptual it's going to look <coughs> it's going to look somehow awkward so <coughs> sorry i want to you know turn this to realistic that's how the whole thing is looking like so you want to you know check it and make sure it is as you want it if it is not you want to you know, redo it hmm? so let's go from here down i think it's not up to from here down if it's three feet six inches we are not going to see it that's why i made it four so four is going to show somewhere around here so somewhere around here down that's the global card spin that i just showed you so let's go here and let me show you uh let's just just continue and then create our curtain wall so top view i want to create a curtain wall somewhere here but my door is all straightened up my wall is all straight and i don't want it like that i don't want to delete the wall as well so i just come in here click on this zoom out come down here turn this on for visual 
clarity and then i click then i'm set so what i want to do is i want to you know go to um wall wall types you click on the drop down we have curtain wall and then curtain wall with unit with a unit maybe a, a door a window you want to have a curtain that frames frame style with a door in it you select curtain wall unit you can add something in there so you can change the style of the curtain wall unit to be added on the design tab anything you want depends on you but i'm going to go for curtain wall click and then come to properties this is basically the, the standard the standard type here is standard i don't want that i don't want to use the standard so i can come in here to yeah i can come in here um and then look for another one i think i'm going to go with this you can just put this on it and then it's going to give you a preview of what the whole thing is going to look like when i select square this is the square that's how it's looking like square all squared out and then this is what this is also going to look like mm. so you want to you know make sure you have an idea of what you want um these i don't want they are too crowded i think this is okay so i want to you know right click see import style or import styles then go to my properties drop down is down here spandrel 13 feet later on we are going to make a video and i'm going to explain how to change some certain things and then get it how you want but for now let's go to the let's go with the default spandrel 18 feet click that's what we have here and as you can see it comes in this form which is interesting so i want to come in here i don't want this turned on as of yet so i want it to be turned off and then zoom in and then set to somewhere here because i want my wall to you know just connect it in a form to make it to give me a firm item a form a firm curtain wall if you leave it hanging from this part it's going to be somehow so i want to click somewhere here and then zoom out extend it out here uh, my project is somehow of a modern building here so, so you're going to you know see a lot a lot of modern design in here i got this idea from a particular movie i watched that's where i mo mostly i'm watching movies so i get ideas inspiration from them so this is the, how the person's building looked like so i was trying to implement it in this particular project i'm doing so i want to leave it um cash and then press enter it's off so i want to select my wall again see add selected come in here i want to turn this on click to this side click the wall is done press enter still add selected and then do that same thing for this end click here boom come in here to this side click press enter and then we are done we are done with um the curtain wall this is the basics of creating a curtain wall it's just like a wall you're just drawing it like a wall so that's basically the basics of a curtain wall design i want to go to the north so that i can see the curtain wall exactly change the visual style to realistic realistic i don't know why i'm using realistic in this project but <laughs> let's go realistic yeah it is just like that mm, yeah neat just like that so you can see you can see it's transparent you see through it's um translucent it's not all that clear so translucent and then one thing i can do is let me give you something here let me give you a touch as you can see oh sorry as you can see from this end we have a bit of space up here it's exactly one feet it's exactly one feet let me select this then let me go to properties it's nine feet so nine feet from ground so it's exactly one feet up here to ten to match this wall 
so i want to put a wall up here to cover this so that it can, it can you know look firm or strong so what i can do is i can select my window um the wall type the wall that i'm using or the wall that we used i see add selected and then just draw it on top of it though it's going to be inside the building for now we are going to edit the properties later so we just draw it on top of this click press escape and then i'm going to have this inside with my curtain wall inside the wall <laughs> that's not what we want so you want to click here go to properties and then in properties we want to set our um, base height to one feet Yeah, one feet one feet press enter our base height is now one feet the one feet because i when i type the base height to be one feet it's going to measure one feet from ground and that's not what i want i want one feet on top of the um the curtain wall i don't know if you understand i want one feet on top of the curtain wall so that it's going to cover the space that is you know different from the wall the existing wall and the curtain wall so the one feet that i have here is not going to show up here because the global cast plane is at four feet and one feet is way below four feet so it's going to be on the ground instead i want to zoom down and um, scroll down sorry and then change my um, elevation from zero inches to nine feet because that's the length of the um, curtain wall and i want this to and i want the wall to be on top of the curtain wall therefore nine feet i press enter and then hopefully it should work hmm? hopefully it should work if it does not work then we come back sorry oh what did i do sorry i made a mistake so control z undo 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 I want to zoom out select only the wall that i'm using go to properties change this to one feet press enter go to elevation what am i doing go to elevation change the elevation to nine feet press enter um did i do it right elevation nine feet press enter escape go to 3d view from the back and then i change this to realistic perfect <laughs> perfect so that's basically the idea it was left with one feet which this wall and um, this block i have here is exactly one feet which i wanted it on top of um a nine feet curtain wall so i had to change the elevation of this to nine feet and change the the length or the height to um one feet which is going to cover the the, the one here so that's basically um all for today's video um before we end i want to you know give you a touch a touch of it that your clients can see and say oh nigga you're good uh, my brother you make you made a good project or a nice project is to open your doors something when you are presenting a project to someone you want to you know open your doors so that they know that your doors are open for another project <laughs> it's basically it's something that i like it's not compulsory no it's not compulsory for you to do it you just do it for out of fun if you want so to do that you select the wall and the window or the door in 3d mode i normally do it in 3d mode you can do it in, the, in 2d mode but i just do it in 3d mode so that i can see it so you want to you know in 3d mode select the one of the doors normally one works for all of them so select one of the doors go to properties come here to display and then you want to change the um, swing angle like i showed when like when we were drawing it in 2d view i showed you the swing angle was 90 you can change it to somewhere like one, one, 180 or something and it's going to open but here simple i want to change this to 50 press enter and then it's open hmm? skip press see 3d orbit 
and then open show them yeah just like that simple it's beautiful it's nice it's, it shows a bit of um, you know some form of professionalism for your client oh okay this guy knows what he's doing okay so for the that's done for the doors and for the windows it's the same idea it's the same logic we use the same logic so you apply something to this and then it works you try to apply it to another one and it works so let's see if it's going to work i know it's going to work already but don't worry you come in here you don't have swing angle because the doors and windows do not have swing angles instead they open at a certain degree or percentage you understand doors or um windows open at a certain degree or percentage and then doors swing they swing in or out they swing that's why you had swing degree or swing angle and then for the windows you're going to have opening percent opening percent hmm? so you i want to you know change this to let's say 50 as well i want to make sure it's selected select all of it 50 press enter and then it's open so 50 is like that i'm hoping there's 50 percent just 50 percent and here is what we have for this it's opening to the inside hmm i don't want that but we are going to do this one we are going to work on that and change it maybe change the hood change it. but i don't want it to open to the inside no i could leave it like that but i don't i don't like the idea maybe i could leave it like that so 50 is there and um, 90 90 is going to open more 90 is more like well open hmm? so you can you know open the windows and doors for your clients to see how the whole thing is going to be like how the whole doors and stuff are going to be like if they like it hmm? so after doing this you want to you know inspect your whole building and make sure everything is as you want it and then that's all so that's all for this particular tutorial but don't forget to save it don't forget to save everything you do or anything you do save you want to save you don't want to save us you want to save because hmm? you created a, the, the whole project everything already so you don't have to save us you have to save so that it is saved in the project so you want to save it shortcut control plus s click it may freeze if your pc is not working too fast it may freeze so anything you do control plus s anything you do control plus s and then i think that's all for today's video my name is Edno. <laughs> see you in the next video yeah i talk too much i know it's coming part of me it's coming part of me i don't want it so see you in the next video yeah if you've not subscribed do subscribe and then Let's get going. Let's learn more. Yeah. See you later. Bye. -bye.